excuse me. So that's the Bellies Field at Colstoworth. Time to carry on. Up north to Blackburn. Ooh, mirror heater isn't working particularly well. At least it wasn't like this when I was at home, I guess. I managed to avoid all that. So we're scheduled to load at 3 o'clock this afternoon. It's now half 11. Um, so we should have enough time to get there. And then just head for Hollyhead for tomorrow lunchtime ferry. Excuse me. <coughs> oh. So yeah, I went through the, <coughs> excuse me, the A14 roadworks for the first time in a while today. And uh, they're certainly cracking on with that, which is nice. I did read or hear somewhere that part of it's going to be open a year early, which is pretty good. It's not a road I've particularly travelled too much, but <clears throat> I think they're putting like a direct expressway through as such. So if you're coming from Felixstowe, for argument's sake, going to Birmingham, you can take the middle two lanes and there's no on or off ramps, you're just straight through like past what ramps and hut area and, and off towards the Midlands. And if that's the case, that really ease that bottleneck up, it'd be brilliant. We'll, we shall see because I know what the I know what the British are like when they just de design a road. They get Stevie Wonder in and make a right hash of it basically. <coughs> so uh Yeah, I forgot what it's like to drive in the UK after not doing it for a while, other than mooching around Suffolk. <laughs> it can be quite a painful experience. Right, I'll turn this off for now. So, just queuing on the M62. I'm just living in that trailer to the left there with that Land Rover tow in it and there's no way that you can see anything out of his mirrors at all not one mirror either side or the internal one with that one on the top you just I mean how dangerous is that but there we go that's uh, maybe maybe someone else will notice that I just sort of watched him pull pull across from this lane into the hard shoulder because of congestion because it's congested, this hard shoulder's live at the moment. I just thought he's got no way of knowing if anything's there other than he's either going to hit it or they're going to hit the horn. There we go. Hey ho, so yes, yeah, half one. Uh, the outside lane was shut a minute ago for roadworks. That snarled it all up and we're now uh, just sitting in a bit more traffic. Never mind.
never mind, still going to be on time, roughly. So, that looked like sleep, but it's 11 degrees out there, so it shouldn't be. Well, I really hope not. So, it's half past five, and we're done. Well, loaded. To say, not done, but loaded. We've been loaded a little while, but just stopped and had a break. Being a Friday night, rush hour, round Manchester's not going to be ideal, is it? So, we thought we'll just wait up here in Blackburn and now just take a mooch south and uh, ah. so I'm just going to stop and get some diesel somewhere and then uh, carry on down towards Hollyhead about, still about three hours from here roughly to Hollyhead so um, got a bit to do but Nothing too serious, I don't think. There's a speed ramp somewhere here. No doubt I'll find it the hard way. are all pretty uh, pretty rammed oh why did I wait oh, yeah, never mind. but to start with I've got a nice light load but I shan't be keeping it for the tour unfortunately I wouldn't have thought which is a shame <laughs> So the plan is get the Hollyhead, nip across to the supermarket to get some tonic water for a cheeky gin and tonic at such times will allow. And maybe have a quick pint in the pub, maybe, we'll see. <laughs> Saturday lunchtime. Time to just mooch down the port. It was blowing a gale and chucking down with rain last night, so for it to be nice and sunny is a pleasant change. That should be a fairly uh, nice crossing, I hope. We've got parking arranged in the docks in Dublin. There's something on at the, at the gig to, today, tonight, and uh, we're going in at seven in the morning.
so indicating the go straight on. I don't know if that truck's broken down or had a crash or what's going on really, but... Oh, and another one. <laughs> Brilliant. Is everyone crashing today. looking Dublin as you'll see in a moment so although we're not going particularly far we've got to go a bit of a long way to get to it by the sound of it oh look at that sideways rain beautiful Three waiting to ship back. I don't remember uh, yeah going through uh, a lot of this it's all changed a little bit I guess that would be the border control if England ever actually leaves the EU
can't wait, can they? Uh, oh, I see. I'm at the back. I think that's Rachel. There we go, look, come on. Number one, done. Uh, now leaving the point. I was going to film coming round here, but obviously the camera doesn't like the cold, which is quite annoying. So as soon as I turn the bugger on, it turned itself off the other day. So we've been in Dublin for a couple of days. It absolutely chucked it down yesterday, so it didn't do a thing. Been a bit better today, just been quite leisurely. It sounds a bit. What's that noise? <coughs> That's my winder handle. Bloody thing. Miss the lights. Huh. I noticed it clanging about the other day. Forgot, probably forgot about it. I guess that's what it is anyway. Hopefully the bungee strap will stay on. So it's just before two in the morning. Up to uh, Belfast to get the ferry. Seven. Across to Cairn Ryan. And up to Glasgow. Got a travel day so no mad rush. Oh, you swine. if they turned them off, didn't they? They're a fox. You want to look the other way, buddy? There's a car coming.
end of the tunnel and off we go. Signposter whatsoever, you just come up to the T junction, pick left or right. So I went right and uh, sort of took you through the town and then picked up the signs again for the motorway. Oh, lovely job! And it's closed there as well, so it's actually right by the Falls Road. Um, so I've just seen all the other trucks turned around. I've just gone and got myself turned round. I'm just uh, trying to head back and catch them up now because uh, I haven't actually got me sat nav on because I haven't actually bought the lead with me to charge it. So I've just been doing it old school from memory, which is all well and good until uh, something like this happens. I ain't got me map to hand. Yeah, these are all the traffic sign finally. Way. 
the trucks, that's a good sign at least. The livestock truck wouldn't be done from it. Yeah, I've just caught up whoever's at the back. Uh, we have a diversion sign now, that's alright.